Hi guys, Todd here. Okay, this is an interesting one. I've been looking forward to this. Um, past few while I've been speaking to a gentleman called, I think it's Costas? Costas. And I'm not even going to try pronouncing his surname. But uh, basically he's built a, a hybrid rebuildable atomizer device. Uh, basically, it's, it's a two-in-one shop. Uh, his shop is vapors-shop.net, and the link will be up here somewhere. Uh, now, on the site, you will find a tutorial video on how to set this up. And basically, you can set it up, and I'm simple. You can set it up as a standard Genesis bottom-fed atomizer, or you can also set it up like a spheroid. Now, it arrived this morning, and in the space of five minutes, um, and playing with lots of little nuts and bolts, um, I've now got it set up in spheroid mode, with wick, wick mode. Uh, we'll stop referring to it as spheroid. But uh, this is it on an 18350 dingo. And what you see there is what you get, uh, and we'll show you close-ups and so on and whatnot. But uh, in wick mode. The only way I've tried it so far. If you like the spheroid type flavour and taste and the way it's set up in a vape, you're gonna love this. <laughs> you're gonna love it. Um uh, yeah loving this. Uh, uh, in fact, it's 22 mil, and it's just amazing. Um, right, what we'll do here is, and I don't know, this one might be a lengthy one, but I want to get as much detail in setting it up in the two different modes, breaking it down, setting it up in the other mode, um, give a full reference guide for it. Uh, so, we'll crack on. I might have to jump into the house because there's people working next door and it's kind of noisy, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So, well, let's go and see what comes. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to vape in this for a while. This is awesome. Okay, this is it broken down as far as it will ever be broken down. Um, and I'm going to show you how to set it up in wick mode, okay? Now we're taking the top cap out of the equation just now. We've no need for the top cap at this moment in time, but we'll come back to that. Right. Here's your deck. This is your top section. So this is actually pretty much what it will look like if you've been using it in Genesis mode. Um, you know, the two screws here, there and there, can be used as your negatives. And you'll have a, a post that comes up in the middle there later, well, comes up through this hole here, this Delrin, this Delrin piece here, you would have your positive post would come up through here. But you'll see that when we go to do the Genesis setup. But when you take the Genesis setup to bits, to switch over to this mode, this is what you would start off with. Now, the first thing that you need for this is there's a tiny little plug and that goes in this hole here. You just give it a light push in. Job done. You would then take this piece, thread it at both ends, and screw this in the centre. Like so. So you're completely sealed here now. You then take a top cap, and your top cap is threaded at the 
510 hole there, and this is going to thread into it. Now I would suggest that your lube uh, put some e-liquid around your o-ring, and this is where the knurling comes in handy, and that's you. All set up, ready to go. Then take this piece. That's the top section done. That's that's the that finished out of the way. Okay, put that to one side. Right. You have your your base, and there's this plate here, and that's where your positive connection is made off this base, um, which your post here will attach to the you know the positive post on your mod. Um, so. And that screws on to here, like so. But we're not going to do that just yet, because we need something that's going to provide that positive. First things first, we have this pin here, threaded at the bottom, threaded at the top. And that goes to like that. And that's what's going to touch off the base. So I've got that in there. I can actually screw this up now. Um, that's me ready to go with this. Actually, I've forgotten a bit. I should have actually put this on first. Excuse me a second. this wee bit here, that actually threads down into that hole. Like so. And I'll pop this back up. And that's me. And I'm just going to take one of these, the larger nuts, screw that down, and then finish it off with one of the smaller nuts. And that's me got one post ready. Take my ceramic cup, push it down. Back off the big nut a bit. Might actually be easier putting the ceramic cup in first. There we go. So. I found putting it at a slight angle like that is a lot easier. Now I'm going to screw that big nut back down there. Pop this back on. We've got that. We then have this set up here. And just screw this in here. And that's us. Right, here's my wicking wire. I've just cut a, a length off. Um, how much did this was? About 12 centimetres. Uh, I'm just guesstimating it here, but for this I've cut off 12. Double it over. 0.2 cantle. And I'm just going to make three wraps on this. I think it's one wire facing north and one wire facing south. 
Grab this. Pop the wick in. Okay. That's been wrapped under both the heads there. And I'm just going to cut the wires off. Now I'm hoping for about a 1.5 ohm coil there. I know there's not a lot of wraps, there's only three wraps, but it's because I'm going around 6mm of wick. Uh, no. Right, now these tails, I'll just cut that, I don't have to, but I will. These tails are going to go up into this chamber and touch the, the filler material. Now you do get a bag of filler, filler material with the device. And you also get some wicking wire, like so. Um, but I've just been using my own stuff here. So I'm just going to leave it like that. It probably doesn't have to be as long as that. But uh, in fact, I'll just trim them off. So they're like that. And there we go. Right, I think we should try this in a mod. Uh, make sure everything's firing. Which it is. Try a little bit of juice here. Because you will, will want to get your tails a little bit of juice on them just to aid the wicking process and get it started. That'll do me nicely. Right, next part. Now we have this section here. Now I've got a piece of... Now this was uh, what we called the, the Wonder Foam. Uh, you can use the Serra filler as well if you want, but I'm going to use this. Uh, and all I'm doing is... Post likes. And I'm going to take this section and pop it on. And if we look in here, now what I want to do is I'm just going to poke this down, make sure that the mouthpiece is clear, there's nothing obstructing it. And because of the way this stuff works, I just want to make sure that it's, you know, filling the chamber. It's not too tight. If it is too tight, sometimes that can cause you uh, wicking problems. So there we go. So, this is the second time I've done this. And I had about a good 3 mil of juice in there before. Uh, and with this stuff, I'm just pouring it in there, giving it a few seconds, and let it soak it up. And I'll stop at that because, uh, you know, I'm going to be taking this to bits again, and uh, I don't want to make a mess. So now you can see, you know, these wicks don't actually have to be as long as I've got them. But I'm just going to leave them like that just now them in there like so, tighten this up, oh, that's bloody great, <laughs> right, let's transform this into a genesis, so sort this focus out a wee bit and we'll take this to bits so unscrew the top cap like so and yeah I'm going to take the base off put that here just now and I should be able to wiggle 
and remove this. I'll take that piece of filler material out. And do these thumb screws. And there we go. And that's me suitably covered in e liquid. Right. Now, what the hell do we do with this now? Okay. Now, I do have some other bits and bobs here. So let's figure out how all this goes. Right. First off, we need to break this down. So, I'll catch that later. Uh, we'll unscrew this part. So that's that off. That just unscrewed straight away. And we'll unscrew this part. I'm just popping all these bits to the side and that should now let me poke that out take the ceramic cup off and unscrew this little piece here and here we go we have our base back I'll just give this a little clean There's a little screw here. I'll get this in focus. My apologies. Okay, there's a little screw. And that just goes in there like so. If I remember right, this long piece here goes up like so. But, 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 this piece here goes over that and screws into this base. And that's you got your positive post set up again. And once again, because we've got a positive set up, we just take our bottom cap and we just screw this together. Uh, cooking the gas so far. All right. So we're getting here. Right, next thing, tank, threaded bit at the bottom, pop that on, thread away, oh, forgot to take this bit out, don't need that, in fact, what we need, excuse the liquid here, is this bolt here is going to plug the center hole up. And we're going to take this section out of here. So this is what we should now be looking at. Now, remember this wee plug we put in when we were uh, setting this up in wick mode? Well, we pull that out, which gives us the hole that a positive post is going to pass through. And now, we should just be able to push this down, like so. And this is starting to look a bit more like what we're used to. 
Right. Uh, I think we'll put the uh, one little just to hold that down in place, like so. We'll then take a larger one. that down and then I'll pinch one off of what we were set up with earlier on and screw that down so there we go we have our usual positive post right so what we can do here is we can remove this plunger to be honest but we should check anyway um, three and a half mil the wet coal right now you should be able to set up a u wick here as well and I think you'll also be able to set up two a jeweled coil set up so I could remove this other plunger from a jeweled coil set up this is your fill hole here this one here okay there's my mesh in and that was 45 millimeters in height by about 50 millimeters in width uh, and even at that I've still got a straw like wick um, so you could probably go a bit if you wanted a thicker wick, you could probably go 60-70mm, um, but this is 500 mesh. So, I'm going to go for a twisted coil in this one. Alright, here we go. Coil set up. That's uh, twisted 0.2 cancel, around a 500 mesh wick. Uh, this is coming out at uh, 0 0.9. I made quite the way there. Uh, we'll try a wee bit of oh yeah that's kicking. <laughs> right let's fill this up. I'll undo this screw here and uh, we'll fill it up and see how it goes. Right that has uh, just can try to clear the decks here a wee bit but uh, right this was a uh, what did I say it was 0 0.9 0 0.90 now, I left the fill screw out. I was going to take the white bung out, um, but I was worried because it's so close to the wick, when I'm tilting it, I'll get a pile of liquid. Uh, so because the fill screw is on the other side of the wick, it's probably best to do it that way. So, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I've not inhaled, I've not pressed the fire button yet. I was just checking that it's 1.2 mil is the air hole. Outstanding. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding. Um, right. 
Wow. Two seconds. I had to go and get a cup of coffee. Um, <laughs> right. Off the bat. First impressions. Right, let's, let's get some technical stuff out of the way first, okay? Uh, air hole was 1.2, the wick hole was, I say it was about 3.5 mil. Um, Dimensions are 22 mil in diameter by 66 millimeter in height, and you can set it up as a silica arrangement, similar to the spheroid, or as a standard Genesis atomizer. And I think you can get about six mil of liquid in there. It's bloody huge. Um, now, you uh, did send me an email today and give me more information, saying that they are going to be doing in the future more upgrades to this. You'll have a clear tank uh, coming along for this. Uh, they're going to be doing so that you can use it in a smaller sized atomizer as well, probably a smaller tank, but you won't be able to change it between the two modes uh, if you go down that road. Um, and as I said, you can use it single wick, dual wick, uh, U wick, whatever you want. Um, Price-wise, uh, right now it's sitting at 65 euros, and they're going to continue to keep it at that price, at the lower price, until they've exhausted the stock they've got, and then I suspect it's going to go back up in price. You can get it in satin, like I have here, or you can get it in polished. Guess what I'm going to do? Polish it. Um, it comes in a box like so you get a little box like that and as I said it comes with uh, some 3 mil silica wick there and some wire as well uh, and yeah and a nice little spindle there. I quite like that it's quite smart uh, you also get some mesh to make your wicks and you also get a little bag of Cera filler and that little bag of Cera filler will do you quite some time um, and the device itself comes wrapped in a little bit of brown cloth like this as well brown cloth? brown cloth um, now things to address here I might as well get this out of the way because this is probably what folk are thinking about. Yes, this is quite a tall beast. I mean, that's at an 18350 mode on an 18350 device, and it is a fair old size. There's no dispute in that, but it's holding about six mil of juice. To change it between the two different modes, now. As a train of thought, with a lot of things these days, you know, you get one thing to do one task and it does it well. When you start getting it to do more than one task, then the performance of it in both those modes is half as good, or something like that. Um, I have to say right at this moment in time that this performs... It's just excellent in Genesis mode, and I love it in Wick mode. I really like it. It's a, a the flavour is brilliant. It's really good. Um, I had my suspicions when I saw this, and uh, the lad got in touch that this was going to be poor at one thing, good at the other, or mediocre at both things. And I, I'm happily proven wrong. Um, I wasn't a fan of the knurling, but I'm, it's not the the knurling isn't heavy duty knurling, um, and you do actually need the knurling to get a grip to unscrew things. So it's you know it does a job. Uh, I think it's going to look stunning when it's polished. Uh, I love the mount there, the drip tip. It's really nice as well. 
and I'm honestly struggling to find a negative with it. The only negative there probably is, is keeping that all these little bits that you've got left over in a bag, tucked away somewhere. And then when you want to swap it over, you know, storing the other bits in the bag, it literally will take you five minutes to switch between modes. It's so easy. Uh, I must admit, um, I found I struggled a wee bit at the start because uh, the the video that I watched showing it on the make, the manufacturer's website wasn't the clearest. So hopefully I've captured it clear enough that it gives you a bit of confidence to go for one of these because I'm quite impressed. This was supplied free for review, um, and these are as always. It's my opinions. Um, I don't think anybody else has done a review on one of these in English yet. I know Grim Green's got one, and uh, Nick, he's got one, so he might be doing a review. Uh, so wait and see what he says about it, uh, or if anybody else comes out. But in my opinion, as it stands right now, I think it's a bloody bargain for the price. Uh, €65. Euros. That's excellent. That really is excellent. Uh, that's me. That that that's it. I, I can't say any more than this. Um, I'll do a follow up. There will be a follow up as always, and uh, I'll let you know how I've been getting on with it. If there's leaks or if it's dry hits or whatever. Uh, but right now, two thumbs up. <laughs> That's me guys, I'm off and we'll catch up with you soon. All the best now, cheers.